did the Las Vegas real estate market fair for March 2019? Well, that's what we're talking about today, and we're starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada, with the O'Hare team at Urban Nest Realty. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing by clicking that button right down below and even that bell for notification because I talk about all kinds of cool stuff Las Vegas related and you don't want to miss out. Welcome to the April issue of my monthly minute market update for Southern Nevada. Today I will be going over March 2019 numbers. Las Vegas' main housing association has predicted a rosier spring selling season after a jump in sales last month. But resales are still well below the 2018 levels and the tally of ignored listings remains much higher than it was a year ago. Last month there were a total of 2,621 single family houses that sold, up 33.3% from February but down 16.8% from March 2018. The median sales price of previously owned single family homes, which compromises the bulk of the market, was $300,000 in March, up 1.3% from February and up 7.1% from March 2018, according to a report provided by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors. Southern Nevada had a total of 4,409 new listings for the month of March, up 29.6% from February and up 18.4% from the prior year. However, there were a total number of 7,091 single-family houses listed without offers in March, down 0.6% from February but up 84.9% from the prior year. There is now 2.7 months of housing supply in Southern Nevada, down 25.4% in February and up 122.4% from the prior year. Months of supply is a good indicator of whether the real estate market is favoring buyers or sellers. Typically a market that favors sellers has less than six months of supply. While more than six months of supply indicates that there's excess of homes for sale that favors buyers. 51.9% of the closings was on the market for 30 days or less. Nationally, the average rate for a 30 year mortgage in March was 4.27, down 4.87 in November, according to the mortgage giant Freddie Mac. Now, if you ask me, that's actually pretty good. You know, November it was getting pretty almost to the 5%, and now we're in the mid 4.5 to low 4s. That's actually really good. Despite Las Vegas' higher home values, Resale prices are still way below our pre-recession peak and further below when adjusted for inflation. The medium sales price of previously owned single family homes peaked to $315,000 in June 2006, according to the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors. Adjusted for inflation, however, the peak was around $392,470 in today's US dollars, which is a about 92,000 above today's current medium price. Bottom line is this, the Las Vegas housing market is actually picking up. However, homes are not selling like they did from a year ago. There's a lot more inventory to choose from and buyers are being much more pickier than years past. If your home has been on the market more than 30 days, then you need to ask yourself a few questions. One. Is it priced at fair market value? Meaning, is it priced at or below the current market value? Number two, did your agent use a professional photographer to take photos of your home? Or did he or she use their cell phone to take photos? That can be a major difference when you use a professional photographer. And number three, is your home move-in ready? Meaning, is it spotless, clean, top to bottom, decluttered and organized. I also did a video, why isn't my house selling? Uh, click on the link above so that you can get a better understanding of what you can do to help sell your house faster. As a buyer, with the interest rates lower than they were from a year ago, why not buy now? Even though the market is picking back up, there are over 7,000 homes to choose from. 
and you never know, you still may be able to get a really great deal on one of those homes. Prime example, our last three buyers, and I've stated this in the last video and we keep on getting buyers, that we were able to negotiate the seller to pay for all of their closing costs. We didn't negotiate down in price because they were priced pretty accordingly. However, we were able to get the sellers to pay for all the closing costs, which is pretty awesome because closing costs can cost, closing costs can cost anywhere between 2.5 to 3% of the total purchase price. So that is huge savings right there. I mean, especially when you have to come up with 3, 3.5 or 20% down payment, saving on closing costs is great. But the key is having a great realtor that knows how to negotiate for you. If you'd like to download the full report provided by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, I've posted a link down in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed my monthly minute market update for April 2019. Also, what do you guys think of my new office? I don't know how it's going to work out, but Brian and I just bought a new home and we moved in a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, and I'm just getting settled and so testing this out between this and the green screen. It may be too white. I may look funny. I don't know until I edit this video. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my video. I'm Angela O'Hare, a realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada, with the O'Hare team at Urban Nest Realty. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing by clicking one of those buttons down below if you're interested in learning all things real estate in the Las Vegas Valley. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you guys on the next one. Voila, what do you think of my new sign? It says the O'Hare Team Las Vegas Real Estate. Urban Nest Realty. Here is my beautiful award that I got for being a top producer at Urban Nest Realty being number 18 out of over 400 and maybe 50 agents. Uh, could be a little less, but hey, number 18 is pretty killer. See, look at it. <laughs>